Two parents are suing the Park City School District over bi-weekly COVID tests, testing the district implemented to keep the virus from shutting down in-person learning. ABC 4's Nick McGurk is live in Park City this afternoon with what he's learning about the case. Nick? Well, Rick and Emily, these parents have students at Treasure Mountain Middle School and Park City High School where I'm standing now. I was also standing here a couple months ago. That's when the district for the first time had to shut down in-person learning over a spike in COVID cases. They said when we get back to in-person learning, we're going to be doing this every other week testing. They were touting it at the time really as a way to track COVID in real time so the students who had the coronavirus could be isolated and they could keep learning here in school. That obviously didn't sit well, though, with a couple of parents, Holly and Mark McClure. They do not agree with this protocol. It mandates testing as a condition for in-person learning. They filed the lawsuit. They named leaders of the health department in the county, the state school superintendent, the superintendent of schools here in Park City, and the district here, among others. What they're saying here is this is an unconstitutional invasion of rights. Some of the rights include privacy about medical decisions, refraining from unnecessary or what they call experimental medical testing, even the rights of parents to make decisions for their minor children. Now, this bi-weekly test implemented at Treasure Mountain Middle and Park City High Schools on January 25th. After, like I mentioned, the schools went remote over what was a spike in cases. If you can prevent it from spreading, I say go ahead and get tested and then to have the kids in school and be able to have them in school safely is most important right now. And she had had coronavirus. We'll have another take from someone else coming up at five. It's worth noting, though, the district has put these tests on hold. They say fewer cases in the schools, a lower rate of transmission in Summit County. They're on hold at least temporarily. That has not stopped, though, the McClure's from filing this lawsuit. Live in Park City, I'm Nick McGurk, ABC4 News.